Bill Robeson. Yes, Walter, please talk to me about so, something uh, or other. <laughs> You've been at the Moisture Fest now. This is what year for you? This is year number four. I think, I believe this is year number four. I cannot vouch for that, but I think that it's my fourth year at this wonderful, amazing event. But what was your inroad? How did they find out about you? Um, I bribed a lot of people, and uh, there was a hot tub involved. So, wow. Okay. Yeah. Your honesty is very compelling. Thank you. Um, and it's interesting because you have the esteemed position that you have emceed shows. I emceed. As well as performed and in shows. performed in shows. So this is obviously not new to you. Not new to me. Um, what What is your performance history? My performance history is I'm a theater guy from way back. I did, like in high school and college, I was theater. I did theater. I did musical theater. I did straight theater. I did, like, uh, 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 Neil Simon. I did Shakespeare. I did all kinds of stuff. Uh, uh, segwaying quickly, working, uh, segwaying into like physical theater, mime, clown, performance, uh, and also mask work. And then uh, found street performing, and I street performed for a lot of years. I am what you would call a jack of all trades. So the act, though, that you're doing right now is is a pretty funny deal where you have a physical prop, you have a microphone, I do. and then you have sound effects happening. Right. Where where did you get the idea for this kind of act? This kind of act actually came from uh, I worked with a two person variety show for a number of years, two person uh, two man show for a number of years called the Shields, and we did the, actually we did this number this act as a two person. Uh, my performance partner would actually um, do, it's hard to explain how it worked then because I don't even remember it nuttily enough because we've done it, I've done it as a solo act, but it came from a two person act and I edited it and changed it and created it and morphed it into a one person act. So that's how that came about. Um, well, I, and, then, and then changing it and changing it and morphing it and adding things uh, over the years. But uh, that bottom line, it was, it was a two-person into a one-person act. So how long, uh, in a time frame, how long did it take to get it distilled down to what you're doing now? I would say a good two years. Okay. Because I, you know, versions of it and this and that, and I finally, you know, it takes... Creativity is hard, and so uh, it took it took it took a couple of years to kind of distill it, change it, find it, move it into something that that, that I'm happy with now, and I'm not going to change it anymore, except for the openings, which depends on where I'm playing and what venue. I'm at. Sure. Right. I like how you kind of incorporate audiences, though. You know, some of the time you run out in the audience and you you know you try to bring them into the performance. Um, do you think that's important? I think breaking the fourth wall, it's so funny because doing the years as an actor, as a, as a theater performer, as an actor, there was the fourth wall. Uh, I've, I've done Tennessee Williams, I've done uh, all kinds of theater, and, and the, you know, and, and then in the last 20 years, 15 years of my life, I've broken that fourth wall, uh, and I think it's an exhilarating, wonderful thing to tear down and go out to the audience because we are not like at the Moisture Festival here, all the variety acts. We are not, there's no, this isn't theater, this is not theater, this is variety. And we are working in a capacity of being connected and emotionally involved and uh, viscerally um, hooked into the audience and the people that we're performing for. And so, therefore, um, the fourth wall doesn't exist. It's a group of strangers that come as a group of strangers in the beginning of the night and leave as a bunch of friends because we've had this incredible journey and experience together, laughing or hopefully laughing our asses. So I like that a lot. You're good on the spot, man. I gotta say. Thank you. So could you talk to me a little bit about? I mean, given your extensive experience, what would you say about the Moisture Festival? What makes it unique? What makes it unique is that every single show is different. 
what I, the reason I think people, performers, entertainers, flock to this festival is that the energy here is palpable and beautiful and seriously, even though you don't know what's going on, you can walk away. One can walk away, like this morning I woke up and said, I have an idea for my, for a part of my 40 minute, you know, my, my 30, 40 minute show. I do a 40, you know, shows of other, other longer show. I had an entire idea for a show, a, a five minute bit or the opening of my show that came from just seeing some little bit and piece. I think everyone, it's just inspiring to be around so many artists, so much creativity. It's just, it's just absolutely insane. It's crazy and, and you, you can only just expand your creativity being around so many amazing people. And it just, every, every time you see, watch a show or you, you, you see somebody on stage, you just go, wow. Not that you're, you're taking or stealing anything, but you just go, it's just, it's like, it's like an, a, a big energy field that just keeps expanding. Anyway, it's, uh, that was a dumb explanation. But. So where do you call home? Seattle, so. You live in Seattle? I live in Seattle. How long? I moved here in 1982. All right, you've been here a while. But then I left for uh, three years to perform with uh, a mass theater company in Portland and another eight years off and on in the, on the road uh, traveling with the Sheedles, which is a two-person variety show that I did for years. Um, Seattle's been home. But I travel. Okay. One of the things I liked about your emceeing style is you're probably the most succinct. It's like you move a show along, which lets people, you know, you bring the audience and you're like, let's get going. And you don't belabor the points. You, you get the, the important information out. That's very nice. Thank you. But the show moves along. I mean, I've seen them all. So, I, you know, I, I kind of know with my own eyes. And I like that about you. Have uh, how I guess how long besides performing the emceeing thing? Uh, that's the first time I've ever emceed. Okay. So honestly, that's the first time that I've ever emceed anything. All right. Well, it's going good. Thank you. I'd say thumbs up on that. Thank you. All right. Bill Robeson, performer at the Moisture Festival and MC Moisture Festival 2011. Come on out.